and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube and Puppy. Yes, welcome Puppy also. Uh, we have some standalone mid range. Let's go ahead and play this deck again. This deck started as a donation deck that a wonderful viewer submitted. Um, if you want to have your deck played on stream, remember it's just a ten dollar donation, and the the link is in the video description. But uh, this deck, I, I just really, really liked it. It's a really fun to play. It's very powerful. It's um, it's uh, not it's it's pretty punishing if you don't play it uh, real well. Like you got to make the right decisions. But if you do, you can beat anything, and it's really, really good. And so I've I've really enjoyed playing it. So this is probably about the fourth time we've played it now. Uh, wanted to to play it again. Um, so yeah. So what it's what's about? You know, stand alone. It's Kind of about that we're playing one threat hopefully fiora or zed those are our two champions and uh you know trying to stand alone you know like we're trying to have exactly one ally one big threat make it a lot bigger with standalone and protect it with various spells and win with that one big threat um so standalone is the most important card that we find because all we need is one of the, the different threats and then uh standalone can go ahead and grow them all right, but let's let's give it a try. Let's let's start the day off. Where's our attack? Stand alone mid range. Here we go. Wow, 1948. We need to get back up there. What's our board? Now let's get Ionia. The Clifftop Ministry, and we'll have Silverwing. Okay. Hey, Rex. Howdy, howdy. Man, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, that, that's... That's rough, WQ. So, WQ, is it is it three-hour bus way? Is it, like, one way? Is it three hours? Then you gotta go three hours back? Or do you have, like, an hour and a half bus ride to, like, get to work? And then an hour and a half on the way back? Afterwards. What's up, QQ? That's still, that's three hours a day. That's so much time. That's one-eighth of the day. That's 12.5% of your life. That's a lot of time. But, you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, so Garen, Trindamir. Uh, so definitely going big. Let's get rid of the Shadow Assassin also. We'll have Fiora Barrier to start with. And I want to look for, you know, like a standalone or something like that. playing Shadow Assassin. standalone so we're going to be making a very large fiora the only thing is i do not have a deny so what can they make Just the way I like it. what can they do that i can't do anything about it with um since i don't have a deny like they can well they can they can always like frostbite i don't really have burst Spell speed removal, or even even just any removal. Okay, um, I it's a six six, and I have tough. I think I can afford to play the shadow assassin right now. Gotcha. These old eyes still see far clear. Yep. Yeah, we'll review all the new cards. Uh, whenever we know all the, all the new cards, has there been any has there been any updates um, in the la like yesterday or today? I guess I haven't seen if there has been. Let's check the imger see if there's anything different here. 
Man, they've played three mobilizes. They're going to have some small creatures. Or some cheap creatures. I guess the creatures will be big. They won't be small. Oh, we have. We've we got Swain. The Noxus. Legend. That's good. So five mana, three, six, Nexus Strike, deal three more damage to them. Just zero mana Ice Veil Archer. That's pretty cool. How much am I taking? That's fine. We've done 12 non-combat damage this game. You love that's when Swain levels up and done 12 non-combat damage. Aren't they already dead at that point? We deal non-combat damage to the to enemy Nexus, stun the strongest back row enemy. Nexus strike deal three to all enemies. Well, I think that's just game now. They like tapped out. Does that count for Fiora? Wait, does that count? Oh, that doesn't even count for Fiora killing something. All right. They may not have noticed that doesn't count for Fiora killing something. Yeah, it, it's n it's just non-combat damage to anything. Oh, to anything, not to just not to just. Uh... Okay, not to just the Nexus. Okay, it's damage to anything. I was thinking that was twelve non-combat damage to the Nexus, and I'm like, why well, are they just already dead? All right, Draven Ezreal. Oh, man, I cannot wait until later. We are going to... Um, I actually don't think we really need Deny. Like, the only thing against this deck to Deny... I guess I keep it. But, like, the only good thing to Deny is, like, the, the four mana um, static, shock, static Shock. Like, that's, like, the only good thing to Deny. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll have to le I'll have to read this Swain card a little bit more, but ooh, Ravenous Flock. That's cool. Are there three deal three to an ally unit to do three to anything? By my honor, you must okay. die. Deal one to an ally unit. Deal two to the enemy nexus. That's pretty sweet. So it doesn't look like any. Any stun, anything like for uh, for Yasuo in Noxus so far. Dude, the Leviathan's cool. All right, but anyway, uh, what I was gonna say is uh, our 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 Draven as aggro that we're gonna be playing later today. Man, I cannot wait. We're gonna be playing it up last. We're saving the best for last. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're going to, um, they can't deal with a 6-6, can they? Yes, they can. They could have Thermogenic Beam. Um, so I won't just cast this. So we're going to play a Draven Aggro, where we're going to have one Ezreal in our deck. So it looks, so they see Draven Ezreal, and they think that, that we're going to be playing like a Draven Ezreal control, but then we're just going to be playing an aggro deck. And switching it up, and I can't wait. No. Well, that's a bummer. All 
All right, Blade Keeper, I guess you're who I get. I thought you'd never ask. All right, well, we lost this one. I mean, if I would have waited a turn, would that have mattered? How would waiting of turn had have helped? How would waiting of a turn to play Fiora help? I don't think it would have. I think. I mean, I, I mulliganed the. I mean, I guess like really where I went wrong is I mulliganed the Shadow Assassin. Usually we draw like two threats though. Usually. But some some games we only draw one. Because the Blade Keeper doesn't really count. But the thing is the Shadow Assassin doesn't really count either. We kinda only have like the eight real threats. Shadow Assassin you can work with that sometimes. Uh what are you real excited about with my Ma uh Maokai? And is that how you pronounce it? Mao Maokai? Maokai? But yeah, BJJ, what? What you excited about? Maokai? Maokai. Noxus is pretty cool. Okay. Word, that is weird that the word mo and the word now are spelled the same, but like one with an M, one with an N, and they are pronounced completely different. That's pretty weird. Yeah, you have like pow and now and then Mo. <laughs> All right, so I guess I, I twin disciplines. I'm not gonna really have this Fiora stay alive. Basically, I want to look for more protection for the Fiora. So going with the Shadow Assassin over anything else. I just wanted to look for protection for Fiora. Eight mana. Stand in judge. You have no alibi. You cannot escape. Yeah, English is really hard. English is such a weird language. So 
now. That's that's probably not it's probably not crazy at all. I really wish I had 12 mana. I wish I could deny and have judgment. But I can only judgment with a barrier. But they play like some six mana spell for Lux. I need to deny it. Do I even go for it? Yeah, oh, how we missed three mana deny. Because basically the problem, uh, I try to Judgment and they play Will of Ionia. Think of how bad that would be for me. That'd be so bad. I guess that, that's just game over. I think we go for it too. Strike without worry. Well, that would have been a lot better to have deny backup. No. Would have been a lot better to have deny backup. Oh dang! I was wondering because. How that overwhelms over. I was wondering, I was like, maybe I'll just do two because that's the toughness, and then maybe I'll just do like two and two. I was like, there's a chance. Nah, they would have they would have just had two denies. Darn. We had too many of those shadow... Like, that time we had too many shadow assassins and Zed, and, you know, not enough protection for Fiora, so I had to waste too many turns just playing shadow assassin and not even attacking with Fiora and killing stuff with the small things because we didn't have enough protection. Um... So, you know, it's kind of, you know, our mixes didn't really work. You know, the first game, or like the last two games, like the first one we lost, we couldn't get a, a we couldn't draw a second threat. And the one that we just played and lost, we couldn't get enough protection and had too many threats.
What's my favorite champion spoiler so far? Or the most interesting? I do think people are underrating Quinn. Do you think people are underrating Quinn? Um. Oh, I should just play Shadow Assassin. How do they always draw the Enraged Yeti immediately? It's always the top card. Swain is pretty interesting. I think Swain's gonna be a lot better. Like, Swain's gonna be good. Well, I mean, Trapper puts it in the top three cards of the deck, but they just always have it immediately. Like, they always, like, it's always the top card. It seems like. It's supposed to be the top three. See, both of those times, it's just the exact, it's just the, the top card, both of those. It wasn't even top three, it's just the singular top card. That's what happened with both of those. My opponent's being super annoying. So their next attack step is going to be on turn 9. We'll have the 9 mana if we have 3 extra mana. Um, that can be 12 mana. So their next attack step I can set up did not, or, uh, Judgment plus... Um, judgment plus one of these things. Deny or Repost. Probably Deny. The main problem is is frostbite cards. Uh, they could definitely just have a frostbite card, and I can't. Like if I if I try like judgment kill with Fiora to kill all this stuff, I can't. Um, can't save it. All right, that that can use a deny. I'm not really that worried about Ezreal, because if they, you know, like, 
they're probably going to be killing me before Ezreal matters. But yeah, it's super high chance that they just have Frostbite cards, you know, like Brittle Steel, Harsh Winds, all that stuff. three more cards maybe this works okay that's awesome all right you are cleared the board levels up or uh you know we get three things for fiora awesome Uh, no plans right now for that BVB. Let's go. Attacking for 10. We got the Relentless Pursuit. That was a good draw. We've, we have drawn very well this game. I probably should have cast this during combat. But... I kind of want to see how it played out. Because, like, if I cast Relentless Pursuit and then they harsh wins, then I'll be like, well, what was the point of that? But they didn't harsh wins. But, of course, they didn't have harsh wins last turn either. I mean, I'll win if they have nothing, but... I say I win yet. Strike without worry. Now it looks like I'm probably gonna win. No, burst bell. Is this going to level up Ezreal? This will. It doesn't matter if that levels up Ezreal or not, but whatever, we can deny it. It doesn't matter, because we would have just killed him anyway. All right. Two and two. Back to 500. All right, and the all-important game five. Do we get that winning record? What do you think, Pup? We get the winning record? All right, Lux and Nivea. Definitely don't want those. Definitely don't want this. Do I want to keep deny against Lux and Nivea? They're probably, you know, like harsh winds. I mean, if they're Lux, if Lux denies good against Lux. Obviously, we need to draw a threat, so keeping it is risky. Hey, Blade. But I was thinking. Their luck, they probably want to go like turn three remembrance. And that's like really good to deny a turn three remembrance. But I guess we're the we're the person that acts first on turn three. So that means I'm probably gonna to want to play Zed with standalone, and if I do that, I can't deny a remembrance. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have kept the 
deny. But they played... Anyway, it's all for nothing. They played Mage of the Year Conservatory, so they don't have the mana for Remembrance anymore. Get him, Zed. Let me untap. Oh, we get to untap. They get a lot of mana, but we get to untap. And now we have protection. That's good. Yeah, that gives me a one mana thing to like pair with twin disciplines. Stone's pretty weird. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Just go this. Certainly considering doing like twin disciplines or repose, you know, like twin disciplines plus three first and attack for nine and nine. Certainly a consideration. That's what our deck's about. All in. All in on the Zed here. The War Mother will unite us all. If I play this, I have five mana to protect Zed. good enough. I can have either, like, one of Twin Disciplines and I repost, plus one of Radiant Strike Chain Vest. Yeah, that's probably enough. I feel like harsh winds is too likely. That's a sad feeling. Gotta be a pretty sad feeling. No, the stones aren't worthless after this turn. If they would have blocked with both stones, like they would, they would have. Oh wait, no, because they catalyst. They did catalyst twice, didn't they? So yeah, they did not need the stones. Oh, you're annoying. Yeah, you're right. They did play the two catalysts. Yeah, so you're right. I I forgot about that.
Like, what happened to my Blade Keeper? We have the Invisible Blade Keeper. Alright, if I play Blade Keeper, I'll have 10 mana next turn. Eh, I kind of want... So I could have up to uh, 12 mana if I don't play it. Hmm. Why is my Blade Keeper invisible? It's invisible. them to I really don't want to use twin discipline uh, no we just I'll just use it fine please just don't harsh winds after I use this Yeah, I've never seen this that kind of bug either. Alright, so it's it's a bug with the living shadow. Definitely a bug with the living shadow. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Time for this candle to flicker out. I'll melt away your shadows. The finest blades for my life. I need only one to win. mana. If they have another Harsh Winds, I'm basically done for. I hope they don't. Close. No. No, thank you.
No, thank you. Well, now this is a tough decision. Do we save Fiora by giving Fiora a barrier, or do we just say bye and then stand you know stand alone this could also I uh, could also just health potion me and take the five. Kind of like a risky option. Yeah, that's too risky. They play a repost, and I die. That's that's too risky. I had an, like I had invisible cards in my hand earlier. Whenever I played a couple of Living Shadows, like Zed's Living Shadows, and and I picked up. Blade Keeper and Fiora before, and whenever I did, they were invisible in hand. You could you could mouse over them and then you'd see them, but like if if your mouse is just like over here or something, they would you wouldn't see them in hand. Five mana for Lux. Kind of just going for it here, right? We're just kind of going for it. Come on. Dead. Now I can't stand alone. It's annoying. That's quite annoying. Kind of got bailed out there. I definitely need to play the Shadow Assassin after. And I kind of got bailed out. I definitely like after they played this Shaman, they had the two things. I needed to just not worry about my standalone and play um, the Shadow Assassin. But I don't. I don't know how I'm supposed to beat this Rhyme Touch Shaman. Talk about a card that's absolutely amazing against me. Frostbite the strongest enemy every single turn. How does how does my deck ever beat that card? Talk about a nightmare. A nightmare of a 
cards. All right, GGS. That was a, that was a good game. You know, that was really back and forth, and uh, you know, we had our chances. They had the answers. Um, you know, that was a, that was a really good game. That last one. But yeah, that's uh, that's some standalone mid range. Yeah, that shaman is really really good. I used two two twin disciplines. You know what? What cost me there, but I still don't know what I'm going to do about that shaman. But what definitely cost me was, you know, kind of, you know, quote unquote, wasting two two twin disciplines. Um, one I used with the plus, and then like both of them were like basically going for lethal. One of them they had the double harsh winds. For the other one, they jump locked and had brutal steel. So both of I had two twin disciplines that got um, wasted card wise, and. Um, you know this kind of deck that's that's tough in in that kind of matchup that goes really long like that but even if i would have had two twin disciplines i would have been able to save my big zed but then that big zed was just going to get frostbitten every single turn and that by that five five and that would have been tough but anyway there we go um definitely a fun deck to play very good and uh tricky for sure too all right, but that's our first deck of the day. That's Stand Alone Midrange. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Um, but thank you so much for watching some Stand Alone Midrange, and I'll see you for the next video.